terrible things are happening in three of the world's biggest cities. Mysterious fires have broken out all across New York City. In Paris, ancient stone statues have come to life to terrorize its citizens. And in London, the people themselves are turning into horrible monsters. It's as if someone evil is imposing their will on the world. It looks like my visit to New York just became an investigation. Something is behind these fires, and I intend to find out what. People say there's a supernatural cause. They believe that a mythological creature is burning the city to the ground. The fires are constant, so police and firefighters are too busy dealing with them to find out who or what is behind them. Some people claim they saw a phoenix during one of the fires. But that can't be true, can it? It must be some sort of mass hallucination. I contacted the editor of the Investigative Times, a newspaper conducting an independent investigation of the fires. He agreed to meet me when he learned I was the famous detective Agatha. This looks like the newspaper offices, but what happened here? Oh, there's Eric Moore, the newspaper editor. Miss Agatha, I'm Eric Moore, the editor-in-chief of Investigative Times. I'm sorry, but I can't give you the info I promised. As you can see, whatever is causing these fires is targeting us now. All this time, I believed that the theories about the Phoenix were complete fiction. An anonymous informant sent me evidence of the mythical bird. My beloved city is in grave danger. Please help us get to the truth behind this phoenix, detective. Perhaps there's some evidence or clues left behind in the office. Wait, I'm sorry, miss. This area is dangerous. The structure was damaged and could collapse at any moment. Now, move along. Oh, you're a detective? And the editor gave you permission to gather...
Watch out! Who are you? And what are you doing here? What were you thinking? I'm Lieutenant Liz Brooks, and I'm not letting any more civilians get hurt on my... So many... So you're a private detective, and so experienced. I should show Lieutenant Brooks what I've learned so far. source contacted the editor with evidence about the fires just after the paper began investigating the phoenix case a mysterious stranger brought the editor undeniable evidence that the phoenix was responsible for the fires and then hurried away immediately after the editor brought the package inside there was an explosion my guess is that the fire was time to destroy everything they had uncovered Something doesn't add up here. There are Sorry to interrupt, but the fire is out. The police... I'm not sure this is the right place. Maybe that barber can help. Hello, miss. Can I help you? Are you here about the Phoenix? It seems to be on everyone's mind. Well, you're talking to the... Look, I'm not asking for mud.
Excellent work. Now, do you see that? Nah, I don't know what he's doing. I did see the phoenix. It was just a dove. The room is filled with posters and magic tricks. The tenant is an illusionist, and this must be his workshop. Judging by his workshop, he's no stranger to chemistry. If he was trying to create an explosion, the damage to this room suggests he succeeded. Could this be connected to the Phoenix? I have to inspect the warehouse to find out who used it. This is no... The train, just in time.
This is the hotel on the card. Houdini is supposed to be performing here. Ticket, please. I'm sorry, miss. I the show has already started. I have to get inside. I might miss my chance to talk to Houdini afterward.
What luck! Congratulations, miss. Come Stop the show. Mr. Houdini, you're under arrest on suspicion of arson. Come with me to the station. I'm sorry, officer, but I have another big performance coming up. Miss Agatha, I'm glad you're here. All of our evidence is pointing at Harry Houdini as our prime suspect. His fire shows are out of control. Unfortunately, Houdini has escaped. Have a look around here while I search the hotel. Houdini! He's getting away! Harry Houdini, you're under arrest. I'm sorry, officer. Not this time. Agatha! Houdini chained me to the stairs and ran away! Help!
Houdini has been corresponding with someone. They share the results of their experiments, the fire powder, and the phoenix design. According to the drawings, Houdini assembled the wings to use in his tricks. Houdini designed each phoenix frame to burn to ash each time it appeared. I have to take a closer look at Houdini's dressing room. There must be a clue to tell me where he's gone. for the fire. This is the same powder from Houdini's lab. There's enough here to destroy a whole block! That symbol again! The Phoenix has already hit the newspaper office. The Statue of Liberty must be the next target! Houdini experimented with the Phoenix design in powder to find the perfect balance for his tricks. His accomplice used moderate amounts for publicity. His accomplice made sure to keep their secret hidden. When the newspaper investigation got too close, he made their office the Phoenix's next target. The places marked with the Phoenix symbol became the victims of explosions and fire and the accompanying Phoenix sightings drew more attention to Houdini's fiery performances.
Houdini plans to perform his Phoenix stunt on the stat. This is going to be dangerous. Houdini and his accomplice are getting away. Stop! Don't blow up the Statue of Liberty! I have to find a boat to stop them. I can't let them destroy the statue. A port officer can help me find a boat. Good evening, miss. Ah, Liberty Island is a popular... I'm happy to take you to Liberty Island, but you'll have to wait a bit. Something is wrong with the engine. Well, bring me the tool bag if you'd like to help. It's on that baggage cart with the car...
Something happened to that boat. It's on fire. Help! Help me! Thank you. You saved my life. The f Thank you. That should protect my hands while they heal. I don't... Oh my. What happened while I was away? Do you think you can handle the engine, Agatha? We don't have time to waste.
It's Houdini and his accomplice. Are they fighting? Now I see what you're really up to. I won't let you do this. You fool. No one can stop me. And you. My plans almost collapsed because of you two. You pay for this. Oh no, help! Are you okay? You're a detective, right? Then I wish to confess. I'll tell you what I know, but please understand that I had no intention of causing this destruction. Someone named H.J. contacted me a few months ago and asked me to create and advertise an incredible show. He promised to organize an illusion nobody had seen before. A huge phoenix would appear and vanish throughout New York. I was so inspired that I immersed myself in rehearsals and experiments and put my trust in H.J. Unfortunately, I discovered his destructive plans too late. Don't think that I'm trying to excuse myself. I'm willing to accept my part in this. Thank you for your help, Detective. I'll settle things with Houdini. He shares some of the responsibility, but I don't believe he meant any harm. He gave us some evidence. Paris is well out of my jurisdiction. Good evening. I'm... What's that noise? Get inside. Hurry. Phew. I don't think they spotted us. These attacks are getting worse. Sorry I haven't introduced myself. I'm Detective Julius DuPont, and you must be Agatha. Liz sent a letter. How can I help? Her letter mentioned that you're after someone dangerous. We'll find them, but I'm afraid we won't get it. We should start by looking for legends about...
and check the form in. You have a pass. It well done. We're inside. Now to find a book about... I think it's the woman who... Good evening. It's nice to meet you. I'm surprised to... It's locked away in a...
you found it. Here, this will help you open.
Monsieur Dupont and I believe... That's a wonderful idea. Agatha, let's ask around... We are all set. This is a great area for a walk. I've been chasing those creatures for a while now. I've been chasing those creatures for a while. Time for sight. That gargoyle scared me half to death. This is a great end. This is a great area. It's not the best time for sex. It's not the best time for sex. I've been chasing those creatures for a while now. I've been chasing those creatures for... This is a great area for a walk. Look, our gargoyle is sitting in that tree. I have one. But the net is torn.
You did it. Okay, now fire the... You caught one? I'm glad to be of some help. I need them to conduct...
see. Interesting. There are screws here. Incredible. It's a bird in disguise. This poor bird. It makes me so angry. Come to think of it, a few... Parisian scientist named Elaine Arno helped with the investigation. We learned that the gargoyle was a bird in an elaborate costume. A flash of light damaged the bird's eyes and hypnotized its mind. Elaine, on the other hand, invented a harmless light for taking photos. Someone must be trying to frame Elaine for this, but why? A stranger recently offered to buy her research, but he sent her threatening letters after she turned him down this stranger be the one we're looking for? Is there a chance he's also the H.J. from the case in New York? He's interested in Elaine's invention, so we need to prepare for a potential attack at the exhibition. As incredible as it seemed, the criminal may try to... We're here. See if you can climb on.
Good evening. My name is Elaine Arno, and I'm presenting my new invention tonight. It's him! We must catch him! Oh no! Elaine! We were right to expect an attack during Elaine's performance, but I didn't expect a bold, direct approach from the crowd. Unfortunately, the perpetrator used flammable powder, but at least that proves his connection to the events in New York. He stole Elaine's invention and escaped while I rushed to help her. She suffered because of his actions, and I did what I could to help her. The criminal used flammable powder to blind and distract us, just like the powder Liz meant, Elaine is unconscious. Strange. Anyway, I don't think I'll write to him and ask. Good evening, Agatha. My name is Gregory Lestrade. I have a taxi waiting, so I suggest we discuss your case in the car. I like your style, Agatha. As one of London's chief inspectors, I'll support your investigation as much as I can. Whoever this H.J. is, his reign of terror must be stopped. Why are we stopping? We're not there yet. Oh no, it's one of those apes. Be careful, Agatha. Stay down. Are you all right? Uh... The crazed animals keep... It appears the driver...
Good evening. It's good to see you. Hello, Inspector. We still have his things. Well, Agatha.
in London confident that meeting Dr. Jekyll would bring me closer to solving a case. But it turns out that he's not only dead, he wasn't a criminal. The real killer is his son, Hyde Jr., or H.J. He's guilty of a crime that happened ten years ago. And now he's stolen his father's research and Elaine's invention and conducted dangerous tests with flammable powder. Hyde's crimes are a cocktail of revenge against the cities that ridiculed him. London should be his final target. He's going to combine his father's powder and Elaine's invention to hypnotize the town people. And all just to prove his unrecognized genius. Dr. Jekyll's son, Hyde, was behind it all. But he disappeared right after his father's arrest. As I recall... Dr. Jekyll's experiments tried to influence... I'll ask the warden some questions and then go to the police station and update my report. Good evening. I'm sorry, but the zoo doesn't accept visitors this late. My name is Catherine. If you help me feed the animals, we could finish in time for me to answer your question.
Thank you for your help. The zoo isn't involved in the attacks. In fact, all of our primates are at the vet clinic right now. The address should be in the ticket office. If you'll excuse me, I have to track down a raccoon that got out. Here's the vet's address. Oh, that must be Catherine's escapee. Hey, that's not yours, you little bandit. Get back here. Now where have you run off to?
intuition tells me that the vet is Hyde himself.
The chain of evidence led me to the veterinary clinic. When I got inside, I found a secret laboratory in the basement belonging to Dr. Jekyll's son, Hyde Jr. Hyde's journal entries confirm that he's behind the incidents in New York, Paris, and London. I even found apes in the lab that appear to be subjects of his evil experiments. This case is more serious than I even imagined. Hyde's real goal is to control people's minds. It's up to me to stop Hyde and save everyone who has suffered at his hands, including the apes.
You've come this far, Agatha. Yes, I know who you are. I tried to confuse you with the letter in my father's name in Paris. I thought you would drop the case when you found your prime suspect dead. But it seems I underestimated you. At least it bought me enough time to finish my device. Now, you will be one of my test subjects. Say goodbye to free will, Agatha. Get off me, you cursed ape! What happened? Where's Hyde? It looks like the apes escaped as well. I didn't get a chance to thank them. chose a good spot for his ambush. He'll have time to use his device on me if I attack him directly. I'll need a distraction. And I bet the bells might be just the thing. Thank you. 
It's over, Hyde. Step away from the machine. You again? You'll pay for this! When I arrived in New York, I never expected the case to take me across the ocean to Paris and London. Inspector Lestrade arrested Hyde, and his invention will be destroyed because of the danger it poses. Another case is closed and I can finally get back to normal. I wonder how my cat Lester is doing. I hope he misses me.